boys and girls. Welcome to week two of e-learning. This is Mrs. McAdams from North Dearborn and we are here to do some art. I was so impressed with your found object color wheels. I saw a lot of pictures on Facebook, on Twitter, and in my email and they made my heart so happy. So I'm really proud of you. Great job and I can't wait to see what you do this week. Um, again, it is not a requirement to share a photo with me, but it does make my heart happy. Um, so feel free to share those. All right, so this week our project is a spring project. I have really enjoyed seeing um, the butterflies out and seeing flowers start to bloom. I've been listening to the birds chirp in the morning and it just puts me in such a great mood that I decided that was going to be our theme for this week. So we are going to do something that many of you enjoy. We are going to be doing directed drawing videos. Now directed drawing means that we're going to watch a video and someone is going to direct us how to draw. So they're going to teach us. Um, so we're going to be using a YouTube channel called Art for Kids Hub. Many of you are familiar with this. We use this in the art classroom. So below this video, there will be five links and you get to choose which one you want to draw. So you're gonna choose that one, click on it, and then um, try to draw that. If you need it to slow down, remember that you can pause the video. Um, if you want to see how they did something, um, how they colored, you can pause it as well. Um, so, Choose one of those. Feel free um, to choose more than one if you decide to, um, but all you have to do is one. There are several choices, so I'm gonna share with you, I did a few of these, so I'm gonna share with you my sample drawings. There is a spring basket or an Easter basket if you celebrate Easter. Um, there is a chick hatching from an Easter egg, pretty cute. And then there is, this is the cute bunny. And then there is a more realistic bunny for those of you wanting another challenge. Um, it's a little bit more detailed. And then there is a cartoon sheep and it's pretty cute as well. So you can choose one of those and work on it. Again, if you want a little bit of a challenge, you can do more than one. Or I always challenge my students um, in the classroom to add a background or to add additional details sometimes. If you're drawing an animal, you could draw the same animal smaller and make, you know, baby animals or a family of the animal. Um, so it's up to you and your skill level, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, but I can't wait to see those. Um, after you're finished, you, your only requirement, you don't have to share them. Your only requirement is to fill out the Google form just like you did last week. It will be exactly the same except for that last question that was specific to our color wheel project. This new one will be specific to our directed drawing springtime um, drawing activity. So you will fill out that Google uh, form and then you're all set to go for the week. Um, I do want to mention my email address again. We did have some difficulty. Um, some people got me confused with Mrs. McAdams that teaches first grade um, and she received a lot of my emails. So I just want to go through and give it to you one more time. Again, my name is Julie McAdams. I am the art teacher and my email is J M M C A D A M S at sdstaff.us. Uh, just so you have that, we want to eliminate any confusion. Um, fifth grade, I have an announcement for you. Um, due to the current circumstances, you will not be responsible for completing your sculpture project. Um, I'm sorry for those of you who have already put in the work. It just isn't going to be feasible at this time. Um, if you did do it, I would love to see pictures. So if you've already completed it, um, feel free to send me photos. I would love to see those. Um, but if not, you got lucky. Um, one last thing, I just want to tell you that I hope that you have a great week. Um, I hope you enjoy time with your families. 
and I can't wait to see what you come up with. And I will see you again next week for another week of e-learning with art. Bye guys.